Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode, we unlocked, uh, whoops, there, we unlocked uh, oil pumps and oil refineries so that we can start uh, producing oil pretty soon. But before we uh, do that, there is something that I want to do. I want to produce uh, steel beams, uh, steel pipes, concrete and uh, encased industrial beams in an organized manner uh, but and that's what we're going to start uh, building up today but uh, before we do that uh, we're going to unlock industrial manufacturing so let's get that done real quick i have already made everything ready to do it so there we go and Unlock industrial manufacturing. Because. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ada. So, what industrial manufacturing gives us is importantly trucks and computers and manufacturers and computers are really important because we need them uh, for some stuff uh, we need them to unlock uh, our expanded power infrastructure which also gives us the conveyor belts Mach 4 and conveyor lift Mach 4 which is what we really want and the fuel generator we really want to so we're going to get that stuff set up, but before we go get started, let's just have a look at the MAM and see what alternate uh, blueprints we have. So we have an alternate blueprint for steel ingots. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, it does increase the rate of production quite a bit, but I don't think we need to do this. I'm uh, I'm okay with uh, with keeping it like this. Uh, the regular, the alternate blueprint for cable, we could do that. That is actually really good. Instead of 15 per minute, we produce 75 per minute. That's a huge increase. And we do have access to oil now, so. That's a possibility, and then we have the alternate for uh, modular frames, which will use steel pipes. But I think we're already using steel pipes for quite a bit of stuff. Let's uh, do the rubber cable, confirm that, and we still have a couple of hard drives, so let's stick one in there. Hard drive and begin analysis. All right now, in order to build our um, new facility, which will will have one facility producing all four of those products, we will need to have quite a lot of stuff on us. So let's just get rid of some of the stuff that we don't really need to have on us for this. And I think uh, basically what we need is right now concrete. Oh, and we need some iron plate as well. So let's do like that and then grab all the concrete we can. Let's go. So I have found an area over here it's not that far away. What are you doing? Oh, okay, you're bringing coal over. I was wondering what that truck was doing there, or tractor. But actually, before we go have a look, let's just see um, vehicles. What do we need to make trucks? We need rubber, which we don't have. We don't have access to that yet. So we should go and set up some oil production very soon, which we will. 
we need some computers we have 21 computers i think in our inventory that we found at crash sites we have some heavy modular frames that we found at crash sites as well and we do have some engines so all we're really missing completely is rubber but we can get that relatively easily all right so this is going to be a pretty big facility right because we're going to have four different items being produced which mean, means we need four different uh, uh, inputs and four different outputs so i think we're going to build it up here it's a pretty big reasonably big reasonably flat area maybe we should just do it down here next to the yeah let's do that that's this is a bigger area so let's build it down here and there's not too much vegetation around here either which is really nice so it's time to start set up some foundations around here let's do that and we're going to need oh uh before we start that just to have a quick look at what has happened in between episodes it's not a whole lot uh, basically all i've done is i've put some walls on most of our uh, iron plate production facility over here and that's basically it so not all of it because i didn't have time for that but some of it has been walled in So it's starting to look like a building. Alright. So let's get some foundations going. Let's put them on our hot bar. Whoops. Nine, eight, seven. Alright. So we start right here. That looks good. And I'm thinking that we'll need five truck stations for each. Actually, we could. Nah. Let's do like that. And. Okay. Yes. Don't know how high this will be. Not high enough, I think. Hmm. I really want a platform on the ground. You know what? We are going to... We are going to do it a little bit differently. Hopefully I can reach all the way without moving. Which I can. Here we go, tearing everything down again. Part of the process, part of the process. So we're going to put this, it won't exactly be on the ground, but what we could do is just like that, and then put a two meter on top, whoops. Is that better? I think that's better. But now we can put four meters, yeah. Not on top. Don't go on top. Uh, let's see. Come over here and some of these built. We can go a little bit further. Let's tear this tree down. Truck it down. There we go. And finish up this. So that's how wide it's going to be. So 
Isso. Yes, this is about it. We can go one further. All right. We'll chop that tree down later. Copper miner is going to be a bit in the way. So you can go this way. I think you can. Man, I keep doing that. Can we go one wider, I wonder? No, okay. Uh, but we can go further. Okay, so we might as well pull this out. This is, is this platform gonna be big enough? I don't think so. I don't think this platform is going to be big enough. Because... I'm thinking that we're going to need at least five uh, truck stations for each input and five for each output. So that's... That's 20 truck stations. And there's certainly not space for that here. But what we can do is build vertically. So I think that's what we're gonna do. That wire is gonna annoy me, but we can fix that later. Go. Almost there. Almost there. And Built a lot of useless foundations underneath. Let's go fix that right now before I forget. That's a lot of materials that we don't need to have spent. We will put a pillar up, of course, or two, so that doesn't look like it's floating. Let's chop down this tree. this stuff just to be sure and it's not going up into all right so that's built and if we take a look at it let's just do a bit of counting so how wide is this one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen and how long? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And one truck station takes up two spots, so we have room for nine in one direction. Hmm. I need this platform to be a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. bit faster when you just can stick them in like that. 
Ah, damn it. We're going into the ground. Okay. That's 19. I would really like it to be one bigger. Hmm. Could we go one higher? Just for kicks? I don't think so. Um, Alright. Really annoys me that that miner is there. But it is what it is. Okay. So let's see, what do we need to make some uh, truck stations? Not that much stuff. Let's just make... Uh, be able to make eight. I'll just go and make sure that we have the materials we need to be able to make eight, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back over here at our platform for our new production lines. And we're going to start setting up some uh, truck stations. So let's put them on six. And let's see. So this thing is going to be a little bit in the way, but I think it's, it'll, it'll be fine. So we need to set up a truck station. I think we'll do it. This one. And we need five. Well, we're just gonna do two for now. All right. And we'll set up one here as well. Where's too steep? I hate that. Floor is too steep is incredibly annoying. So let's set them up here. And let's tear these two down again because yeah. Reasons. Where is the lineup thing? Why is there no lineup thing? Pretty sure it's here. Right? Wrong. Oh, there it is. Ah, wrong line of things. Okay. Here we go. Probably here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. And there. So that's one line, or two lines of uh, either input or output, it doesn't really matter. And then you need a bit of space in between. So they don't hit each other. Okay. Something like that will work. There. And actually I here. that somewhere like this is probably right yeah that looks okay to me All right so we have let's say that these are four inputs So we don't actually need that much space. We 
don't actually need that much space. We can tear up up three of the foundations or, or what? One, two, three, four actually. Four foundations we can tear up. Very nice. Okay. So I'm good with this. That's four inputs. So for instance, uh, steel ingots for beams, steel ingots for um, pipes, steel ingots for encased industrial beams. Uh, actually, we don't need for encased for industrial beams, so we, we only need three. Huh. And for concrete, so we only need three. Okay, that's even better. That is even better. Let's tell you two out. Actually, that means can we? That means that we could fit the others in here as well. I think the outputs. Let's just try that one of these out and whoops not truck truck station let's try and fit some uh, outputs in here like that well, that's too far One output. Come in here and do two outputs and not quite space. Not quite space for it. Darn it. Hmm. Okay. But if we try something else completely and say, let's just put five of these in a row. And there is a little bit of space left over. We could have maybe a line of outputs here. It's gonna be a little bit weird. And five and five, five inputs, and then five and five outputs and five outputs. Could work, I think. I think being the key word here. But it'll be a bit messy if we do it. But what we could also do is make it less wide because we don't need it to be this wide. And cut off, let's say, We need we need to cut off three foundations and that's that's not gonna work. That is not gonna work. Actually it could. Could work. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll work. Because then we would leave two spaces here for an exit road. And they would, of course, come in down here and have each their entry road, right? So one coming up here, one coming up here, and one coming up over here. And if we extended this out, then we could have 
more in a line. So if we did something like this, Maybe made it like so. I think this will work. One more, I think. Of course, we'll have to tear down that tree, but that's okay. We can chop down trees. I think this is what we'll do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh! Darn it. Right, so I think I am going to get all of this stuff set up and then we'll see what it looks like in the next episode uh, i won't set everything up i don't have time for that <laughs> in between episodes uh, i am a, have a full-time job on the side so uh, my gaming time is unfortunately a little bit limited but i think i can get a lot of it done so um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you next time.